recognize that all these our politicians can be pompous at times. And there's a statement credited to Akwaibon Governor's essay as he blasts indigenous asking for palliatives. He said some of you people eat like glutons. Hmm. Akwaibon citizens, citizens took to social media to blast one of the governors is for making some really castigating comments on the citizens while appearing on a live show at a private radio station in the state. Ambassador Samson Ackman is a special assistant on electronic matters to Governor Udum Emmanuel and also the presenter of Aquaibon Mandate. The Rada government inclined magazine program aired on Planet FM radio. Even before his appointment into Governor's team, Mr. Samson Ackman has been emerged in several controversial situations by the way and manner he handles issues which wreck the pure psychophancy. The most prominent ones have been recorded in the course of his engagement as a government official. One thing he never faced in doing is to launch a barrage of insults on the opposition whenever he's given the opportunity to get on air. In the course of his presentation, he shocked the entire state by turning his tongue against Aquaibon people today. While trying to address the different complaints from the people that the palliative shed were rather taken to the homes of politicians and shared across party lines instead of sharing to the whole population as done in other states, he lashed out at the citizens and in a very insulting tone. He said, if you have collected palliative, manage it. Some of you people eat like glutons. Hmm. The state which has failed woefully in managing the COVID-19 pandemic has several been called out by well-meaning citizens and the state ESCO council has also been called out due to the way and manner the state commissioner for health and commissioner for information have mismanaged the flow of information, thereby getting everyone confused. For this, the citizens have been in palpable fear for not having access to the right information and, insist in, and instead of addressing that, the SSA had the guts to come in South Aqua Ibom people. Earlier in one of his speeches, the governor had made mention of the different palliatives which will be brought from the non-existent factories like the rice factory, Gary processing factory to mention but a few, but all those have not been seen nor has anyone collected. The reckless manner with which Samson Ackman goes about his malignant nature and his acidulous manner of responding to vital issues must be stopped henceforth. Aquaibon people deserve better. Hmm. Well, like I said before, this, uh, all these politicians are so pompous, are so arrogant. That's why they don't have feelings because if you really have feelings, you will know what people are going through. Of course, it will, it will still come out and say, oh, it was uh, taken out of context. He will debunk it. He will, he will uh, tell people that it was misquoted as if people don't even understand English anymore or they don't understand simple words anymore. So it is not a new thing. That's why you see that majority of them, they get into office not because of the way they were elected, but because they were selected by their godfathers and those uh, top politicians. So they can afford to say anything because they know that they're not going to be expecting anything vote from you. All those votes, all the selections that we see, they are just camouflage. At the end of the day, they know how to manipulate everything. And because they are, they have enough to eat, they have enough to eat, feeding on the taxpayers' money. They don't, they, they have not, they don't work hard. They don't just work hard. It is the masses that will tour here and there. All the little, little money collected from individuals as a, a way of taxes, uh, paying fines, paying all these uh, little, little uh, fines here and there. Like market women or Okada riders, you see them paying all those uh, money to the local government. All those money put together will be sent to states and be used to fund the lifestyle of these politicians. That's why they can come out and say all of those things. It will come out and still deny it. But the problem is that will people even learn to be able to know the rights people to put in place? But one thing I've already have come to realize is that when people always come out to say, yes, you guys voted them in, a lot of them will pretend. they will. Those who you think that they will even do better 
once they get there they just change dramatically drastically you just be surprised that you see the same person that we voted in and that is why it is so difficult for you to verge for anybody that oh yes this person can do it they will tell you all manner of things they won't show their character at the initial stage but at the end of the day once they get there you begin to see things uh, different things you see that during election time during campaign they will just try to be friendly with people doing all manner of things they can even come to your house to do our sap, to do us boy for your house whatever so you see them trying to associate with uh, all these uh, women selling petty petty things on the street but as soon as they get there you can't see them again you they will not even listen you can't even go near them during election they will come to your doorstep they will do everything they will they will cajole you but as soon as they get there if you start to make complaints they will do as if they did not they did not hear so that is one that is so difficult for you to even say this person can even do this because once they get there they change entirely they become demigods so it's a difficult thing for you to even say you want to vouch for somebody that oh this person is going to do it how many times how many times how many times does it mean that people have been making mistakes no i don't think people have been making mistakes making mistakes all this way of course mistakes must have occurred but at some point some people see voted rightly but once the people they voted in when they begin to change their character people will be surprised and that's why you see that a lot of people are not even interested a lot of things have coupled to the fact that people don't want to go for voting or doing election time to vote because they just believe that it's going to be a, a, a waste of time, whether by not counting their votes or by people that they have elected in the past not doing the bidding of the people. A lot of reasons like that, you know, made people not to be interested in election. So I think uh, they really need to be called to order. And let's hear what uh, Akwaibon people are saying or the masses are saying or Nigerians as you are saying concerning the statement of this a uh, uh, governor's is someone say is an opportunist that is why he's talking like illiterate next time shine your eyes and vote can vote compassionate people in the office there is nothing you do to a pig a pig will always be a pig shame to one of the richest states in nigeria called aquibon states your excellency Lift the lockdown. Let people go back to their normal businesses. Stop imprisoning people for malaria symptoms. Hmm. In the name of coronavirus. Someone say that is how it behaves. Right from onset. Even before I got to. Before he got the appointment. Whenever he anchors radio program. Please don't call to criticize Governor Udum as a person. Some programs he does. The big head essay from Mbio to one in Etina local government will rain insults upon insults on you for criticizing Udum. He only appreciates those who promote the governor's program, be it right or wrong. So long as you support it, he will only uh, allow you communicate on voice call for a longer time. Same nonsense he usually do at the ward level. Northern Imam Ward 11, he was to control everything hmm the man funny oh. don't worry mr governor tomorrow is pregnant who knows what she will give birth to uh someone says that uh, you can imagine stingy governor god will deal with all of you let him show the public the type of meal him and his children eat yeah, yeah food no the belly food but rich food does mr governor mind yourself and do the writing and forget not that coronavirus is watching you <laughs> really may god forgive them after so much that you sold and you are saying rubbish mm, you evil your evil plans will never work uh make una sit down for the front of him gates every day make he see how gluten they is they hear this mr samson please speak with caution Mr. Samson, please, in a time like this, let's know what you use to people. Know the kind of what you use to people. Please, you have to apologize to the people of Akwaibom State. As a public office holder, no matter what you do, people must still talk. It is allowed. Uh, you have to save them, not to insult the people. It is very shocking to see Akwaibom State government give such misery and derogatory palliative to the people shameful to say the least it simply portrays 
how this government values the people one may therefore be forced to conclude that this is a proof of the tight-fisted allegations labeled against our governor recently the question is if it were during if it was to be during campaigns would they have the temerity to insult the people like this does anyone uh, doubt that they don't really care about the people you know one thing is that it's caused across board all of them all of them it's caused across board they behave the same way the the power intoxicates them and they just believe that once they are there they are there and there's nothing anybody can do if you want to raise your head or you want to raise your voice the user the security people to manipulate you so guys let us hear your opinion concerning the statements of uh, the governor's essay to the people leave your comment below and let's have your